Welcome back everyone, my name is Sonia and I first just wanted to say thank you to everyone who watched my first video and also thank you to everyone who messaged me letting me know what they thought about it, it was really appreciated and most of it was good so. So I asked people to ask me questions and I've gotten a bunch of questions, I have them all written down. So the first question is how old are you? I am 18 years old, going to be 19 in July. Where do you come from? I was born in Italy, my dad's Italian, but my mom is Tanzanian and I've also lived in Tanzania for my whole life. What's my favorite childhood memory of Tanzania? In my old house, we had these two big houses facing each other and we had a huge garden and we had two German shepherds and a husky. A husky here, I know, but we did have a husky and we had a swimming pool as well. And I just remember being young and just running around with the dogs, jumping in the pool, like just generally just having fun at home in the garden, stuff like that. What's my favorite thing about Tanzania? Well, for people who don't know about Tanzania, it's in East Africa, it's right by the equator and that makes it a tropical country and it's honestly so beautiful here. It's so, so beautiful. And I'd say one of my favorite things is to go with my friends to the islands. The islands are beautiful. Not even islands, you know, just the beaches. Some of the beaches are so, so amazing. And I definitely have some pictures of the beaches, the islands, different things. So I'll definitely put some of those. What countries have you traveled to? I have traveled to quite a few countries, I'd say. I mean, I could list them all. Okay, let me try to list them all. That's it. I think that's 23 countries. I've been to 23 countries. Okay. A lot of people ask me this next question and it's, do you still swim? I do not swim anymore. I do not. I stopped about a year ago now. I miss a lot of the company that I had when I was swimming. But I also think that I kind of didn't want to do it anymore. What's a moment you would like to relive? A moment I would like to relive is definitely the Youth Olympics in Argentina. I think it was 2018, like October, November 2018. I actually had so much fun there. I was there for only a week. I was supposed to go for two weeks, but I ended up, I ended up only going for a week because I was literally missing school but it was honestly such an amazing experience and I definitely have pictures of that. Do you go to boarding school and how was your experience? So, as I said before, for the first 14 years of my life, I was completely in Tanzania and after my first international event, it was a world championship competition for swimming and it was in Doha, so in Qatar. That kind of opened my eyes to the competitive sport of swimming. Oh, I'm talking about this is not even answering the question, but after that I realized that if I actually want to do it, I do have to move somewhere where I can get the level of training that I needed and that's when I decided to move to the UK. And that was when I was 14 years old. I think I was 14 years old, yeah. And I just started year 10, so I was in my first year of my GCSEs. You know, it was my first time moving. I had to change everything. The average temperature in Tanzania is, I would say, 30 degrees. I moved from 30 degrees and then like this, I had to live in an average of 10 degrees. So I have a picture of me when I first got my uniform. Let me, let me see it, let me see it. Oh my gosh. I actually looked like that. Okay, I look very bad, but it kind of shows you that I had to change from my school in Tanzania where I just had to wear a cotton t-shirt and any pair of bottoms as long as they weren't like a mini skirt or pair of jeans. And then I changed to a whole skirt and shirt and jumper and a blazer and I promise you I never wore tights before moving to the UK. It's crazy to think how different people live their lives. I don't know, I find it weird. But yeah, that's me with my uniform. Not the best picture. Do you prefer school in the UK or in Tanzania? I remember taking this picture on my way to school in Tanzania. So from my house in Tanzania to my school. It looked beautiful. There was a beach, you could see the ocean. And I'm gonna show you a picture of when I was in school in the UK. 
it's two very different experiences I would have and honestly in the end I, I'm, I loved you know going to boarding school are you in uni and what do you study I go to Nottingham Trent University in Nottingham and I study psychology and it's really good I'm enjoying it a lot made some really good friends have some really nice stories and experiences so yeah so I'm enjoying uni right now do you have any siblings? I have a younger brother and a younger sister. So this is my brother. His name is? Alessandro. Alessandro, or we call him? Ale. Ale. That's all I need to go now. <laughs> so that's my brother. You're gonna do a video with me one day? Yeah. He's gonna do a video with me. Okay. Have you ever been to any concerts or festivals i have been to okay let's see i've been to a one direction concert i've been to a jonas brothers concert i've been to it wasn't a concert it was like a gig uh frank carter and the rattlesnakes i've been i've only been to one festival and that was last year it was latitude festival it was good i enjoyed it i had a lot of fun my favorite netflix show slash movies so recently the fourth season of the money heist came out and if you have not watched it go watch it because it's amazing the writing is just so good like for the writers to come up with the story i think it's amazing it's kind of sad though like who dies and stuff what's my favorite food sushi i love sushi i like pizza as well do i ever want any tattoos i do I do, I want a tattoo. Who are some of my favorite YouTubers? Probably, okay, I don't know how to say her last name, but Lauren Geraldo or Geraldo, I don't know how you say it completely, but she's probably who I've been the most recently interested in, so her. Patricia Bright, I never go wrong with her, she's very funny. I also watch Claudia Solewski. I used to watch her more in the past, so I don't watch her as much now but she's still i still watch her videos whenever she makes one emily canham i remember watching her when she had twenty thousand subscribers and now she's in the millions so how many languages do i know okay english is my best then it comes italian i've been studying spanish for 11 years so the national language in tanzania is swahili my friends will laugh i mean if i attempt to speak swahili because i kind of make it my own how tall am i okay so i am not tall <laughs> i'm not tall i am 5'2 or around like 158 159 centimeters so even though people always like say oh you're so short you know i've kind of accepted that i'm short something that i'm not okay with is that i'm the shortest in my family and my brother and sister are younger than me which is not good but it's the truth what's your favorite place to go I would say my favorite place is something which has a beach. Recently, my family we went to um, kind of like a getaway kind of thing, and we had like a little house villa thing, so beautiful, a, a pathway with a little deck in the middle of all the trees. It was so so beautiful, and little stuff like that. You only go for one or two nights, one or two days, but when you're there, you know you feel calm, you feel good. So totally there. What's my pet peeve? I guess it's when people are rude, you know, when people are a bit rude, I'm like, what is the reason for that? Probably that. Describe your fashion sense. I feel like my fashion sense is good. I don't know. And if I had more money to buy the clothes, it would definitely be better. I'm actually really interested in fashion and learning about it as well. Not designing and the creative part of it, the more business psychological part of fashion so i don't know maybe that could be something i could be interested in in the future that's all the questions that i have thank you for everyone who sent me questions i got quite a few questions um some of the questions i also just found online that i thought was interesting for me to speak about thank you very much for watching the video i really appreciate it and anyone else who wants to let me know what they think about it please let me know bye